both of these tools here do a fantastic job working the ground. Well, hello. Hey, sorry. I was uh, I was being held ransom by a cat. No biggie. Well, I was over there tapping on your shoulder saying, <laughs> Pickle, Pickle, are you all right, Pickle? Yeah, I uh, just Wait. playing with the kitties in my head. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. Does it look like it's going to rain or? Let me look at the weather for you. One moment. It is currently cloudy and 42 degrees. Uh, cloudy the high and 42. today is a high of 59 degrees. Looks like it's cloudy all day, but I'm not seeing anything for rain. I wonder what the ground temperature is. That's a baffling question, isn't it? Yes. Is there any way to tell the ground de- temperature? Um, you're good to plant. We're I, good? Yeah, I mean, it, in 19, that was a thing um, because it was a mod, but it's more simplified in 22. So, yes, we're good to plant. All right. Well, let, will you jump on that tractor and take that planter and tractor over to that field? The one we worked first. Okay. We're going to go to the field by the store first. Yeah. I'll follow right. you with the seed and the... You bet. I'm going to head out this road right here, and we'll get started this morning. It's about 7 a.m. Nice early start for us. I'm ready to go put some plants in the ground so we can make money. We spent a lot. Sure. It's about time we get to a point where we're going to be at least making money soon. A farm and we will go. A farm and we will go. I hope it don't rain as a farm and it's we cloudy, will go. It's cloudy, that's for sure. It is. It's rather cloudy. Well, i got to wait on this cart. He's okay. going to be in the way. There we go. So this is the field you wanted to hit first. Where do you want to go? Backside first or? Uh, no, right here. You want to start right here? Well, I have to figure out some place that I can put the, the truck, treader, seed, and fertilizer. Right. Is there room up along them trees on that grass strip for me to pull in there? No. I mean, down on the bottom side, there's that grass piece. Uh, you're going to be in the field anywhere around this entrance. Yeah, but I'm also going to be on the other side of the railroad tracks if I go in the other one. Yeah. There's room kind of around the pond-ish, but I don't know. That's not... Let me just ease in here. and. Yeah, you got a line of cars behind you. <laughs> yeah, I got a line of cars behind me. And then just go over to that grass strip yonder. I'll follow you. The grass strip yonder? Okay. Yeah, yonder. Sounds like we're going on a uh, on a Lord of the Rings kind of quest. I hate to make tracks like this in my <laughs> nicely tilled field, but yeah. it is what it is. Well, there's no other way around. There's no grass buffer. There's nothing. Which, in the future, if you wanted to just add a grass strip or two right along this tree line, that wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess. I think we can fill the planter right here. I think you're right. I think you can just back up to the trailer, and uh, I'm going to okay. jump out. And yeah, I think I'm be... out of the field. Yeah. No, this will this will work really easy. I'll just back right up there and stand on the trailer. We'll pull the tops off and dump the seed right on in. Am I lined up? Is that good? You Should wanna, be. You want to tell me so I don't bump our trailer? It's brand new. Uh, let me get up here on the trailer and see. Yeah, that should be good enough. Let's get to loading them bales or the 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 bags in. You ready? Yep. All right. Watch this super speed. I took uh, I accidentally took fertilizer first. So there's that. That's all right. Now we're taking the bags. All right, that's all the bags it took to fill this thing up. Look here, we got seed in the in the bins. Hop up on the trailer if you uh, space how, bar will let ma- you jump. How many uh, bags do you think you uh, you used? We used a whole six, and then we used what would that be? Seven, eight, maybe nine bags. Nine, nine roughly, bags. Roughly, I think. That's ballpark. That's funny how we got them bags out of there without unstrapping it, but that's all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Better? Smart Alec. All right. Hey, that's all filled in. I think we're uh, we're probably ready to go. We got fertilizer. You got your uh, you got your seed in there. Your marker arm should be good to go. Do you want to okay. give it a try? I suppose i give it a run and see what's going on. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Pull it forward, and we'll see how it goes. You might have to... We might have to jump off, you know, old school and count the seeds per foot. Uh, Yeah, of course. You know how I am. I think you should be set to corn. Do you see the corn icon kind of bottom right-ish? Bottom right-ish, 360 liters, 100% corn. Okay. So you are, you are, you got corn. Good. Um, Set to corn. Nitrogen liquid fertilizer application 
that should be set to kilograms. automatic. Uh, so what will yep. happen is you go out in the field and it should automatically adapt. We don't have our soil information, so I don't know how it will handle. We'll see. Um, yeah. We may have to go manual, and we may have to just whatever application rate you would want to do. See, okay, I didn't buy the, the soil data back for this field when we did this, when we switched over. Do you want me right. to do Because we technically did own it. Let me just do that, okay? Okay, so on the map in the bottom left, you should now see when you start planting, you should be able to see like a colored graph of like your seed application rate and stuff like that. Well, it's you, all red you, and... Okay. I think you're correct, sir. Yeah, you might actually be seeing your pH value. That's what's your nitrogen, or your your uh, not your. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say. You might be seeing some of those. I don't know which one your monitor is set to, but anyways, you get all that that data from the planter and stuff. You yeah. should be ready to go if you pull it's forward a little tech. bit. It's high tech. Is that we'll what see. you're saying? Well, some of it. Uh, planter's old school, but we got some high tech stuff going on. I'm going to try to plant a little bit here. Here, I'll walk behind, make sure it's planting, looking good. I need to do a couple rounds. Am I getting a marker? My marker good? Yeah, your marker's going in just fine. Okay. You're good. If you do need to pick it up and, or change, you know, when you press it, it'll change it or whatever. It's Z. Remember that. So when it you, don't come up automatically when no, you hit it, the... No, it, it should do that as well, most likely. But I'm just saying your manual control. You have manual control, too. He's planting his first field. Don't mind hey. the two rows he's leaving on the outside. <laughs> oh, I knew you. That's what I was just going to ask you. Am I getting close enough to the oh, outside? You're a good two rows there. Down to a row. And okay. in line. All right. That's what I needed. Yeah. Now I have a gauge. Yeah. Yep. Now you're good. That's looking pretty pretty decent. You're planting this uh, very end row just right on the edge of the grass at the moment, to be honest. Okay. But you're. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Right there. That's beautiful. We're going to plant at five miles an hour, maybe six, which well, is a lot faster than I plant in real life. I'm not very high tech <laughs> in real yeah. life. Although I got to admit that new planter we have, you can roll along pretty good with it. And it keeps mm. up. You know, I've talked to it, you about using GPS before in real life. And we've talked about like those ag leader systems you can put on them and, and yep. stuff. Uh, maybe... We'll uh, at some point get your GPS set up in here. You can fiddle around with it, try it out, and see what you think. <laughs> well, I'm not opposed to the GPS. In fact, Pat was just talking about it the other day, about yeah. putting GPS on the 8300. I know uh, I know. Grant likes to have it. He has it on his 80, what does he have, an 81 or 8200? Yeah. It's funny. He, uh, he has the same combine that we have, too. It's, when he started his farm, he bought essentially the same stuff we got. <laughs> Oh, he did? Yeah, he's got the same combine. He's got a little brother of our 8300. Um, he has a planner that I, I'm pretty sure the planner is fairly similar to the one you guys have, too. It's very funny. Our planner is a 1760 NT, isn't it? Yep, that is correct. And I don't know what Grant says, <laughs> but I can tell you that everything's growing. Everything's planting. It's corn looking good. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> what does this mean? Well, now we're going to have to buy more land to get another tr planter so you can plant, too. <laughs> well, yeah, honestly. I mean, we're at $86,000, and we might need to talk to the bank about it. But this planter here, we can get another one for $10,300, I think is what we spent on it, right? Yeah. We're going to do a little over plant here, but that's all right. Don't you'll, panic. You'll be fine. So I'm checking your uh, – I got the mobile app here on my phone. I'm checking your nitrogen levels, and you're doing good. You're putting down... Let me find it. Let me see what you're buying. I don't know what you're... Dang! All right, you're dropping 200 kg per hectare acre. And uh, don't ask me to convert it, because I'm too lazy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the I really didn't the want grass. that other arm to go down. There you I go. I wanted it to stay up. You're learning. Whoa, son. I got to turn around. So we got you. Which means? Oh, you know what? My other truck was around here with fuel. You don't need any fuel or anything, do you? No. I'm okay. green. Green on the fuel. Should I walk over to the other side of the field and grab my truck and bring it over here? Or do you think it's fine over there? It's probably going to be fine over there because by the time you need fuel, you'll be that way. Where's your truck at? It's Towards over at the house, ain't it? Is, it? is it? I thought we left it at the store. We picked up tractors and never got my truck again. Did we? Oh, I think we did leave it at the store. <laughs> It's fine. We do a lot of business there. Well, you go ahead and go get it. Okay. I'll be right back. 
I'm going to try to get these outer rows done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my walk in, I guess. Hey, good news. I almost got the fuel truck over here. It's a little steep pulling it up that uh, side of the dam, though. <laughs> these arms are very stubborn. Yeah. Well, you know, you press it, one goes down, press it, the other one goes down, and press it, they both stay up. I know you said you think we needed another uh, for liquid fertilizer. Did you want me to be going in town and getting that? No, I don't think so. I, I think we got plenty. Well, the nice thing is we will have the data on this field of how much we put into it now that we are doing the field ourselves. Yeah. So I can click here and see so far we've put in 155, 159, sorry, just updated, liters of fertilizer. Yeah. Um, we've gone through 135 liters of seed, right? You've used 3.1 liters of fuel. So I can see all of this data per field so we can see all of our cost and, and, and profit, you know, stuff. Very cool. Is that from that $29,050 we spent on that high-tech stuff? Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool stuff then. It is. It is pretty cool stuff. It gives which, you all that information. Yeah, I know. But we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to actually purchase it for our other field if we want it, which will end up costing $22,750. <laughs> for the other field? For the other field, yeah. Ah, these people just like to take you to the woodshed, don't they? Yeah, but once we have it, I think we have it at least for a while. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. You got yourself on your marker arm. It's got you lined up perfectly. You're doing some nice down and backs, mindful of the hill. It's looking good. I'm wondering if two rounds is going to be enough to give me room to turn around. Mm, I don't know. It should be just about enough. It might be slightly tight. I don't think that... Does that planter turn well? I thought it was a little bit of a wide turn, and if I remembered correctly, oh, but it, I could be wrong. Oh, it turns all right. Okay. i got to fix this little B right here. And the planter should be coming up. I'll see if I can get it turned around here. Do yeah. you like planting with that plenty. little tractor? Huh? Do you like planting with that littler tractor than instead of the 8110? Yeah, because it's easier. It's more maneuverable. Yeah. Now, high tech would say not to drop it in the in the rows that you've already planted, but uh, that's how I do it, so whatever. Seems fine by me. The only thing I don't like to do is drop my... I don't like dropping my marker in there because it tears up the seed, but... You did do that, though. Yes, I, I, I was, had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you did do that. <laughs> but this, everything uh, looks like it's coming together pretty good. The only thing I'm a little worried about is our pH values coming in a little under. Is it? Yeah. But nitrogen's doing good. It's not going to take very long to plant this little piece. No, that little piece won't take you long at all. It's only a few acres, really. You remember that piece of land right next to us, that big old piece of land that was for sale? They wanted like $980,000 for it. Yeah, what do they want for today? Yeah, go ahead and guess. Did they drop it? They want $1.1 million. $1,138,000. Well, you know why that is, don't you? Why? They saw us move into the neighborhood and <laughs> figured, ah. Ah, they bought some got, land around here. We got a fish on the hook. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we'll just up the price. That'll get them. They ain't going to get me. <laughs> Making good progress. You need me to go do anything? I can go pick something up. How you How you looking? Uh, I was thinking about letting you plant for a little while here. You want to plant? Well, I mean, I can. What are you going to go do? Uh, I got to go take care of something in the kitchen. Okay. Although I am getting really good at this. I kind of like our little GPS guy, dude down there. Yeah, I know. Now just wait until you can uh, actually set up the GPS and you can get to the... Yeah, the way you're gonna, you turned around, you're ready to go straight, and you just go, boop, -doop. it just goes straight, and you get to the end, you turn it off, it goes, boop, -doop, boop, -doop. really? Yep, you just turn it back on when you get turned back around, boop, -doop. oh, the technology, I know, too much to bear, Jake, uh huh, jump on in here and finish this field for me, you betcha, I gotta take care of something, I'll get her lined up for you, all right, just finish this little piece for today, oh, yeah, I'll be good, do you need, you need me to teach you how to run everything? No, I got it. All right. Don't run me over. I'm just going to hang around over here by the by the trees. All right. You enjoy your time with the trees. And I'll turn around so I can watch you and keep my eye on you. Oh, I missed a spot. Oh, yeah. well. It happens. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be right back. All right. Good luck with whatever you got going on. 
I'm going to do what a pickle's got to do and get this field done. And he said five or six. I'm going to take it at nine. I'm a real risk taker. That slow po- Well, well, of course he did. That boy wasn't even paying no- t Oh, yeah. Yeah, mister, I got to- Oh, what do I got to go do? Yeah, I'm out of seed. That's what he didn't want to say. Mister, I'm out of seed. Mm-hmm. Let me to fill this thing up. <laughs> I know what you did. You're not slick about it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right. <laughs> Let's go fill up, I guess. Uh-huh. That's why you left. I know it. I know it. All right. Turn this thing around. Back it up. Pull them covers off. Put the seed bags in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy. Dad don't need to see that. All right. You ain't jackknifing the planter. First thing he gonna see when he comes back is that what are you doing over there? Yeah, I wonder. All right, we took from that pile that time. We got him. We just close everything up. Now we just gotta head back over here and get ourselves situated again. Gonna be driving over my field now. Oopsie diddly. Line it up, give or take. Right about there, more or less. All right, we dropped it down. We're planting. We're gonna continue through. Get this all cleaned up here a little bit. <laughs> he dropped his marker arm down there. He's going to see how a real pickle does it. All right, he's thinking he's he's real quick and slick with it. Let's wait. He gets back here. I'm going to have his field done. He'll be like, you already finished? I'm going to be like, yeah, and I had to refill the planter too. <laughs> I know how to crank out some acres, boy. All right, watch. He's going to come back and be like, you ain't done yet? Oh, my whole plan is going to be shot. <laughs> and then I'm going to blame it on, well, I had to refill the planter. <laughs> we're down to 125 gallons of uh, fertilizer that we're applying here. Is, well, what a ditch, man. Woo! Easy. Oh, no, Jake, you forgot your marker arm. Like a dummy. Now you got to freehand it. That's a mistake. Jake, freehand in this field? We don't want that. Jake freehanded it and then sent the marker arm off of that freehand? Even worse. I can't disagree with these things. I'm the one saying them. Hold on. Pick your marker arm up before you ruin it. There you go. Good job. That's how you farm right there. How's it going out there? I have a bone to pick with you. What's that? You know, you, you pawned this off on me right when I needed to refill this, the whole planter, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you did. I know what you did. You just didn't want to refill the planter. <laughs> are you about done with this piece? Uh, no, because I had to refill the planter. But we are cooking well, along. You. You're cooking along better than I was. I know. <laughs> You have a lot more practice. Yeah, I've, been, I've done this a time or two. You want to hear something crazy? Sure. Hit me with it. Now, you know, I've always done things a little unorthodox and uh, really never cared what the neighbors thought. Uh-huh. Well, I have actually done this before with a planter just like that. I have run uh, liquid nitrogen <laughs> on a hay field. Oh, that works. With a planter. Hey, it gets it in there. It gets it in there. I had people looking at me and telling me I was crazy. Well, I didn't care, of course. You know how I am. Well, it turned out it was one of the best crops of grass I ever had. It worked. It did. So I'm thinking to myself, if we're going to go into haying as well this summer, about the time we're done with the uh, planting corn here, probably should run some nitrogen on the hay ground. We should get some hay ground. We should. Run some nitrogen on it. We need hay ground. We need hay equipment. And we need to see what the, bon the bank is willing to do. <laughs> yeah. And... Wouldn't mind having another planter. I, I wouldn't mind having two of those. Okay. Well, then we need now, to... Now, the reason... Go ahead. The reason I don't want to get anything too big is because these pieces are so small. You don't want something that you're going to spend two hours turning around. No, I think this is a perfect size for this little piece here, at least, for sure. And we got some small little pieces out here where, the, where they kind of make little corners, little pockets. Yep. And they are a, a pain in the behind, but... You do what you have to do. Yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. The only thing that I'm really, uh, the only thing kind of hurting on this crop right now is the pH value of the soil is looking a little, just a little under. Yeah. It's not terrible. We are aiming for, I want to say around a, uh, I think around a 6.75. And yeah. I think we're ballpark 6 to 6.25, somewhere in there. So we're just a bit under is all. Hey, when you get done, you know, you know where I'm standing, don't you? Uh huh. I want you to come hit this little strip. It's bugging me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, where you weren't on the uh, on the edge yet? No. Oh. It's where I turned around on my. Oh, gotcha. On a row going back. 
I don't know if it has if it has row shut off it'll work but oh yeah if it'll it be don't, fine if it don't then it'll over plant but that's okay it happens i have a feeling we'll have just the perfect amount of plant i'm down to 79 gallons of fertilizer you are uh-huh you got enough to finish this piece yeah yeah i've got enough to finish this piece that won't be a problem because sadly papa pickle's got to make some phone calls here oh all right make phone calls Oh, God, I just lagged. Where am I going to end up? All right, we get to play a game. Am I going to end up across the road in that thing? Am I going to stop in time? Who knows? What are you doing? My game's frozen. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, so just give me a minute. I don't know what's happening right now. I have no control. Oh, I lost do you remember Paul? I do. Lived down the road. Yeah. He did that one night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did. I lost I... connection to the game. <laughs> really? Yeah, what I do? I'm not even in the game anymore. Well, you crashed and burned. That's what you did. Oh, I guess you're going to have to... I'll come back, but I got kicked out of the game somehow. Internet kicked me out. It happens. But anyway, Paul had a track, was farming for a big farmer, and he was out there in the middle of the night <clears throat> working a field and whipped it around, hit the auto steer, and uh, <laughs> fell asleep. Oh, boy. Woke up crawling up a ditch just like that. <laughs> Uh, he didn't hear the boop, 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 boop. Apparently not. And I won't mention no last names. But oh. then there's Justin. Oh, Timberlake. There you go. The, the tractor was just sitting there trying to go over that thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little interesting. Uh, my marker arm went through it because of it. We might have planted corn out there in the ditch too. We'll see. <laughs> well, we'll let the county harvest that. All right, that's their problem, not ours. <laughs> They're going to be like, who's the idiot who hit the guardrail? And they just look at the trail of corn <laughs> leading <laughs> from our field. I we wonder, didn't do it. I wonder. It wasn't us. It wasn't me, officer. <laughs> <laughs> How many passes you got left? Um, I'm down to two. Two? Yeah, I'm just finishing off this little tiny chunk. And don't forget to come up here and get this spot that I missed. Okay, I'll come get your spot. It's bugging me. Missed. Did we uh want to try and do something about this lime issue before or this uh pH issue before we plant the rest or are we just gonna go with it? No, at pH we can bring that up by just broadcasting over the top. Whatever you But you, you want. have to get out there and do it before that corn's what is it, six inches? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, I just it, got this all planted down here. I'm coming back up there. I think it's six inches. After six inches you're at a snap stage. Otherwise it's just at a bend stage. See that spot? Right there. Right Get here. that spot. Bugging me. Mucho gracias. I'll meet you over by the pickup. Okay. I'd give you a ride if I could, but you know the deal. No, no buddy seat. No buddy seat. I Even need my I exercise anyway. Oh, oh. I should clean. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, I want to clean it up. It is a long ways across this field. Where are you going? Uh, you missed a couple rows. Oh. Just cleaning okay. it up here. Do a little cleaning up. All right, so we got this very first little piece here of all of our land, just like a few acres out of the total that we have to do, Don. But that was a well, good little test. Pressed. And we do know now that we're down to, uh, well, I had to fill this thing once, and now I'm down to 48% on it. Okay. So it took a tank and a half, or a planter and a half full to do this. And then it did take just about a full deal of fertilizer. It took uh, all, all but 67 gallons. And I can't remember how many gallons we had in this thing. Um, well, one second. I can tell you how many we put on this piece. Uh, we put 573 liters on this. I don't know what that comes to in gallons, but... But this tote, this tote was 3,000 and some, wasn't it? Liters? Or, or yeah. A, it was like 2,000 liters, I think. 2,000? Yeah, or maybe it is three. You might be right on it. We ought to have enough to just about it's do two. this piece, then. It comes with 2,000 liters and we used 573, I think I said. Do you want to put seed hey. into this again, or do we want to just wait until the next time we plant? Uh, we're going to wait because I've got some things i got to do. All and we better take here. these trucks back to the shed. Oh, okay. Where'd straps go? Um, just, uh, I'll get them. How do you do that? Uh, I walk up to it. You see with the green icon pop up when I walk up here? Yeah. That's a, a strap that you can put down, and then I click R on the keyboard. To put it and, and it just it. puts a strap. Yep. Ah. Well, we're going to take this stuff back to the farm. And because uh, I've got a few things that I just came up that I have to take care of. All okay. right. No problem. You can uh, 
jump in with me if you want. You can leave that air. All right. I'll ride with you. I just don't want the rain to ruin oh. the seed. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll put the seed in the shed. Don't worry. <laughs> I got to fix your truck, too. I missed the running boards accidentally. <laughs> huh. That is so strange. What? You're still a redhead. I got to fix that. Uh, I am one. I am so whacked out here. Oh. My the... arms are all twisted up. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm good now, but I was looking at the back of my head. Oh, that'll happen, you know. We still have 395 gallons of fertilizer on the trailer, and we have another 2,358 pounds of seed on the trailer still. We won't drive through the pond. Well, not necessarily advised. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's just Easy, a steep spot. Easy, son. I went over the, the darned old, uh, whatever you call them things. That would have hurt. Oh, I hate driving through my freshly planted field, but do what I got to do. Right. We're going to have to do it again. This is our main driveway for this half. Well, I guess we can get the other piece from that other drive over there, probably. But yep. either way. Back on home. Get ourselves something to eat and get back out in the field after that. Well, I think we might as well just go ahead and talk to the bankers. And Well, we need to have a rough idea how much we need to spend. Uh, if you want to get a planner, probably about 10300 for the planner if you get in the same one, ballpark. What else you want to get? I know you want to talk about Hayland. We'll have to look around. Hey, equipment. Well, we're going to have to look and see what's available. I didn't know if there's anything used, so we'll probably have to buy newish. We'll see what's in there. They might have some old stuff on trade at that new dealer, too, of course. That always happens. Yeah. That's kind of what we did with our 8110. So yeah. uh, we'll see. We need to come well, up with I the do. total, and then we can go to the bank, and we can propose that total, and we can propose a time frame. Right? You can yep. be like, hey, how long do I want this loan? And we'll see if the bank will accept it. Well, I have all the haying equipment over here in the barn. All the haying That's equipment? That's a joke. Oh. Yeah, it's a joke. Well, I we have, have enough haying equipment for the amount of hay ground we have. I just hit that post. Yeah, who needs it? Probably did a little damage to my truck, but... Nah, built like a rock. All I right. guess that's it. Well, with that's that, it for now. We'll, let's uh, we'll do run this inside again. and we'll hit back out in the fields here in a little bit. All right.